listeners, and welcome to another episode of Science News. Today, I want to talk about a really cool discovery in a star system some 150 light years away. The star system is called HD 34445, so it's kind of a weird name to pronounce. For the sake of pronunciation, I'm going to call it HD 34445, just because saying all the fours over and over again is going to be really obnoxious. Anyway, this G-type star is relatively similar to our own, our own star, which is also a G-type star. Except HD 34445 is about 38% wider than our star, it's 7% more massive, and it's twice as bright and twice as old. Because it's so old, it's been running low on fuel these last few hundred million years, and it's starting to expand and redden as it turns into a red giant. Orbiting around this ancient, powerful star are no less than six gas giants. The smallest one among them has the same mass as Neptune, and the largest one is about twice as massive as Saturn. Of all of these six gas giants, two of them, HD 3445b and F, orbit in the star's habitable zone, and the habitable zone of this star extends about 200 to 350 million kilometers out and away from the star itself. HD 3445b is near the colder edge of the habitable zone, around 311 million kilometers away, while HD 3445f is on the warmer edge of the habitable zone, orbiting around 230 million kilometers away. Now, this is what we know about this star system. We know that there are gas giants, and we know that two of them are in the habitable zone. We don't know much more than that, however, but future studies with more powerful telescopes will be able to tell us more. But for now, we can work with what we have and make a few educated guesses, and the implications here are really exciting. First of all, consider the fact that these gas giants are all relatively similar in size to the gas giants in our solar system. They're all larger than Neptune, but they're all smaller than Jupiter. And if we look at Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, we can see that they're all orbited by a gang of moons, some of them quite large, like Saturn's moon, Titan. If our solar system can host gas giants with large moons, even moons with a dense atmosphere like that on Titan, then it's reasonable to speculate that large moons just might exist around these HD 3445 gas giants. As we can see in our own solar system, the moons that orbit closer to their parent gas giant are often bathed in radiation. Their surface is sterilized by being so close to these massive radioactive gas giant planets. However, there are also moons in farther orbits that are farther away from their parent gas giant, and these don't get blasted with nearly as much radiation. Human populations can theoretically live in relative safety, in artificial habitats on these more distantly orbiting moons, as they're still protected within the gas giant's magnetic field, they're protected from the solar radiation, but they're far enough away from their parent gas giant that they aren't sterilized by its radiation. In the HD 3445 system, any potential moons that have a healthy orbital distance between themselves and their parent gas giants, uh, HD 3445b or f, these moons will be in a prime position to host liquid water, and potentially life. These moons would be in the habitable zone of their star, so they could potentially be relatively temperate. They wouldn't be bathed in radiation from their parent planet, and they wouldn't be exposed to radiation from their parent star, either. And more than this, they would be protected from asteroids by the large gravity wells of their parent gas giant and the five other gas giants in the star system. Even more than this, if we were to look beyond the gas giants themselves, this star system definitely has room between the orbits of these gas giants for smaller terrestrial planets, which would have been too small for a study like this to detect. It'll take more studies with more refined telescopes with finer measurements to be able to pick up any of these smaller terrestrial planets if they do exist. But again, this is all speculation, so take it with a healthy dose of skepticism. We know what we know, which is that there's six gas giants here, and two of them are orbiting in their star's habitable zone, 
and we can figure out what we don't know. Like if there's liquid water on any of these moons, or if any of these moons orbit far enough from their parent star to not be sterilized in radiation in the first place, or if these gas giants even have moons at all. It's possible, although I would think kind of unlikely, but it's possible that they don't have moons, or that all of their moons are just tiny, irregular asteroids that aren't even large enough to get rounded by the force of their own gravity. Whatever the case, we'll need to look a little closer at this star system to determine if liquid water can really exist on these potential moons. And if they do exist, and if water can potentially exist here, if they just might be able to host life as well. Now, it'll be statistically unlikely, but as far as we can tell with the information that we have right now, the conditions on these moons seem to be maybe not favorable, but certainly not prohibitive, not yet, of liquid water and potentially life. Thank you.